I've learned, um, parenting is an immense challenge. Um, and there's so many different avenues that happen throughout. And a lot is just thrown at you. Um, but understanding the grace and mercy that God has given me, um, and he's always loving me, and he's jealously waiting for me to come back to him uh, and ask for that forgiveness. And, you know, I try to have that attitude as, as a father that I'm always going to love my children no matter what. And I want them to know that, and I want them to want to come back to me just so that I can, as God fully loves us, when we are in him, I can fully love them the same way. And the other thing for me that I've focused on is um, God is the perfect father. And sometimes I too often think of myself as I need to be perfect or things need to be perfect. But God is the perfect father and there is sin and and death in this world, yet he has the perfect plan. So life is what it is and we need to trust in God and, you know, father to the best of our ability. So what would I say to somebody who, you know, may not have a dad in the home or, um, yeah, doesn't um, have that relationship available or directly available to them is, you know, God, he is, he is our father and he is, um, again, as I said, our priorities, God is our number one and he is, he is our father. And when we look to him um, for fulfillment and our hope and our grace, He's the only one that can truly uh, fill that emptiness in our hearts. And, you know, no human relationship can fully do that. Um, I would still seek, um, you know, father figures in my life um, because God wants us to have human relationship, and that is so important. But just knowing we're not alone and God is always there wherever you go is just an amazing feeling to know about.